Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Kit and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to make this lovely Madison cowl. Now this one I made is the adult size one and I also made one for a child. I have this one that I made for my daughter Madison and for the pink one I used the Hook Nook Small Stuff. It is 3.5 ounces and 273 yards. It is a lightweight three and it is 100% acrylic. And there is the colorway pink peony. And this is what the yarn that I used for the cowl for my daughter. Now for this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make the adult size cowl. And for this cowl, I used the Yarn Bee Sweet Divinity in the color Berry Purple. This one has 243 yards. It is a number four weight yarn, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, and it has 243 yards. So I will be using this yarn for today's tutorial, and this is the same yarn that I made the cowl out of. This yarn you can buy at Hobby Lobby, and if you don't have this yarn or don't want to use this yarn or the Hook Nook yarn, you can use any three weight yarn that you like. I use this one even though it's a four weight because it's more of a thin four weight yarn. So therefore I use this yarn. So feel free to use any yarn in any color that you like. So let's go over the materials and we can go ahead and get started making this lovely cowl. So here I have my yarn. I used about one and a half balls of this yarn. For the child size, I only used one skein of the Hook Nook Small Stuff. You also need your crochet hook, and I use a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. You also need your darning needle to weave in any ends. And then you also need a pair of scissors to cut your fringe. So let's go ahead and gather your materials, and I will meet you right back here. So for this pattern, you need to chain any even number plus one. So for the adult size, I chained 110 plus one. For the child size for my daughter, I chained 70 plus one. So chain any number of chains that you'd like, make sure it's an even number, and then just add one to the end. So let's go ahead and chain 110. And then I will meet you right back here so i have my chains ready and for tutorial purposes i only changed 50 plus one so i have a total of 51 chains yours should be much longer than mine so any even number plus one so what you want to do now is follow your chain all the way down to the beginning to the very first chain you made without twisting your chains and then you want to make a slip stitch. So let me go ahead and follow this all the way down to the beginning. Find your very first chain and then go ahead and slip stitch into there. So go ahead and make one slip stitch. And after you slip stitch, you want to chain one. So what you want to do now is we're gonna work one row of single crochets. So this is round number one. So in the very next chain, you want to flip over the chain so you see the back bump of that chain. You want to insert your hook and make one single crochet. Find the very next bump, insert your hook, and make one single crochet. So you wanna make one single crochet in the back bump of your chains all the way around until you get to the very beginning. So let me do that one over. So go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and single crochet into the back bumps all the way around until you get to the beginning and I will meet you right back here. All right, so I'm right back at the beginning 
So just make sure that you stretch out your work and make sure that it is not twisted. So once you have completed that single crochet row, just count your single crochets and make sure you have an even number of single crochets. If you do, you're ready to move on to round number two. So insert your crochet hook. And what you want to do next is find your very first single crochet, not the slip stitch you made, but the very first single crochet. You want to slip stitch into that single crochet. So after you slip stitch, you want to chain four. Now that chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So next you want to skip the very next single crochet and into the next you want to do a double crochet and a chain one. Skip the next single crochet into the next. You want to do a double crochet and a chain one. Skip the next single crochet and into the next, a double crochet and a chain one. So go ahead and do that all the way around and meet me right back at the beginning. So I am at the end of round number two and I have two stitches left. So what I'm going to do is skip both stitches and go right to my chain four. So from the bottom up, you want to count third chain, one, two, three, third chain from the bottom. And what you want to do next is make a slip stitch into the third chain. Now when you make your slip stitch, make sure you grab both loops. Yarn over and pull through to make your slip stitch. So round two is now complete and we're ready to get started on round number three. So what you want to do, the beginning of every round after you slip stitch into the chain four, you want to chain four again. So one, two, three, and four. That chain four will always count as a double crochet chain one in every single round. So go ahead and yarn over and you want to double crochet into the next double crochet and then chain one. And double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one. So you want to do that all the way around until you get to the end of round number three. And then you are gonna slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom in the chain into your chain four and repeat row number three all over again. So go ahead and double crochet, chain one all the way around. And what I did was I worked up a total of 35, a total of 34 rows. So the first row round is my single crochet round. And then this is the double crochet chain one and then double crochet chain one. And I did that for 34 more rows. And then once you get to the 36th row, meet me right back here and we'll finish up our Madison cowl. So here I have my sample. I have the first row of single crochets and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows of the double crochet chain one. Like I said, you should have one row of the single crochets and then 34 rows of the double crochet chain one. So let me go ahead and show you how to finish off your cowl. So now after you finish your last double crochet chain one, you want to find the third chain from the bottom in your chain four and then make a slip stitch. And after you slip stitch, you want to chain one. Now what you want to do is put a single crochet into every chain one space and every double crochet. So here is a double crochet, my chain four that counts as a double crochet. So after you chain one, you want to go right back into that space and make a single crochet. So now you wanna skip over to the chain one, make a single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the chain one. So go ahead and single crochet all the way around. So make sure you put one in the chain one space and one in the double crochet. So do that all the way around and I will meet you right back here. 
So here I am towards the end of round number 36 and then you want to go ahead and find your very first single crochet and then just make a slip stitch and tie off your work. So slip stitch chain one and then go ahead and snip your yarn and I will show you how to add fringe to your work. So what I did for this cowl is I added fringe to the top and the bottom because once you fold this inwards there will be fringe only at the bottom so i will show you how to do that so what i did was i did not weave in these tails you could if you choose to but i did not i kept it as part of my fringe so what you want to do is grab your yarn measure about eight to nine inches so let's see how long that is. I think I, so you wanna do like eight or nine inches of the fringe. So here I have nine inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. And you want to use two of, two strands of yarn for every other st stitch. So go ahead and what you want to do now is fold it in half. It doesn't have to be like quite in half, but I tried as much as I could to get it in half. So what you want to do now is where your tail is coming out, find that stitch, and that's where you want to insert your first set of fringe. So I use my crochet hook to help me here. So I pull it up, and then with my crochet hook, I just pull the yarn through it made it go by a little bit faster so i kept the tail as part of the fringe if you want to you can also pull the tail through so that way it's part of that fringe so then you just pull tight um don't try to pull too much i just push on pull on one side and pull on the other and it should be okay if you go through two loops on your foundation chain so just pull up and then what you want to do is skip the next single crochet or the next stitch and then put fringe into the next one. So go ahead and cut. I cut out all my fringe and then I just went ahead and just added it all the way around. So go ahead and do that and I will show you the finished project right now. So here I have my finished project so let me go ahead and zoom out and as you can see I did not fold the cowl in to itself yet so here is a fringe on the bottom and then here is a fringe on the top so as you can see I put fringe on one stitch, skip one stitch and fringe in the next, skip one stitch, fringe in the next. And I use two strands of yarn for each set of fringe. So what you want to do now is determine the center of your cowl. So for mine, it's about here. And then you're just gonna tuck it into itself. So go ahead and tuck it into itself so all the fringe is towards the bottom of the cowl. All the way around until it's even shake it out and this is your finished project so I love the way mine turned out so I hope you guys enjoy this quick easy project it is very beginner friendly and if you can do single crochets chains double crochets you are definitely able to make this project so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you will make a madison cowl for yourself as well or as a gift for someone so thank you everyone for watching thank you for liking my videos and enjoying my channel and i will see you all next time bye everyone